Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to explain to you how you can translate a SAP query. And that's very important if you're using a custom table within your SAP query, then um, you yeah, basically have to be aware that maybe some technical names are not translated yet and so there the translation is missing within your SAP query. If you're using stand SAP tables, then the data elements are already translated into different languages, so there a translation is normally not needed but can be really useful. So in order to translate the fields within the selection and within the output list, first of all, you have to go to the transaction SQ01 to maintain the SAP query. So here right now, I am using the set underscore test three SAP query. By the way, if um, you are not seeing your SAP query, and then you maybe have to switch your user group or you have to switch your work area in general to see your SAP query. So here right now I would like to add translation to this SAP query. I'm using this info set. So have a closer look um, on this info set right now. I'm switching to the SQ02 to the info set and now I would like to display what kind of fields I'm using here right now. So the set test ID and the set test value. And if we have a closer look in the ABAP dictionary, so within the SE11, then here right now we can see those data elements are being used to, for example, set test ID and set test value. And for example, for set test value, let's have a closer look for the translation, for example, for German. So from English to German, then we can see that the translations are missing. And because of that, if you would execute the SAP query in German, then uh, basically you don't have a translation. So the fields will be shown within English. And basically here to support this, we would like to add also the translation uh, into German. So yeah, therefore going once again into the SQ01 and you have to go to environment and then language comparison. What I recommend is as mentioned, you have to select your SAP query, but we will see that it's not mandatory. So click on environment and language comparison. Because if you are right now here, you can also change the query and the user group if you want to um, or change the info set. So here we have three possibilities to add the language comparison. You can um, translate a query or for a different user group, the info set itself or user groups if you want to. And within here, we can see the application area that you have selected previously. And within here, you specify the source language and the target language. So you would like to specify from what kind of language you would like to add the translation to what kind of language. So from English to German, that's perfectly fine. Um, if you don't know any language key, just use the for help, that's perfectly fine. Then this is, uh, this is great. Then click on the change button. And then we will end up in here. Here you will see kind of like the, the title of your sub objects. So kind of like the, the field, the attribute that is being used and on the right side, the description, the translation. And if you would like to add a translation, then first of all, you um, either click into the column for the sub object or to the description. So set the focus and then click on choose or use the F4 key on your keyboard or just double click on the field itself. So on the description or the sub object. So for example, for the ID, double click. Then um, this pop-up will open up and right now within here, you see the English text, the text and the German text. And here right now, yeah, for ID, it's <laughs> it's also ID. So just, um, yeah, add this. 
and then you can just hit the enter key to close this or with the next sub object you can go to the next sub object or you can also go to the previous one what you like to to maintain also the next sub object and you might have recognized that now you see this check mark and with this check mark you see that you have maintained a translation so and here for value we will enter the German translation for this one and with the enter key you have also maintained this. So and that's almost everything you have to do. Then last but not least you have to save your changes. Then the changes are saved. That's perfectly fine. In some cases based on your system settings and um, there's a pick where you're adding translations you have to add your changes to a transport. But after choosing the transport you have added your translation and that's perfectly fine. And you can do this also for already um, existing translations. So going a couple of steps back and maybe just use the set test because there I'm using the echo table going once again to environment and then language comparison or within here I could also have added it and go to change. And within here, for example, yeah, if I need any other translation, I can do this within here as well. But the translation provided by SAP itself, so by the data element of the company code will be provided in here. But if you would like to change it on any purpose, on any reason, you can do this within here as well. So um, yeah, this is really important and um yeah if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section please like this video and please don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to never miss great upcoming videos thank you so much and see you in the next video